it's Joe Wilkinson and their team captain, Sean Locke. And facing them tonight, Shappy Days, it's Shappy Gorsandy. Welsh Wonder, it's Ellis Jane. And their team captain, John Richardson. Now, from your host, Jimmy. Two out of ten counts to show about opinion polls, surveys, and statistics. Did you know, for example, male sparrows chirp insults at each other when trying to attract a mate? Mainly, you looking at my bird? 68% <laughs> of teenagers say they've changed their eating habits as the result of celebrity chefs. They say celebrity chefs, they mean Ronald McDonald and Colonel Sanders. <laughs> and 4% of the British population say they might be bisexual. Well, you either are or you aren't. You can't have it both ways. <laughs> right, let's get started. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's the name of our first round. It's our panellist's job to guess the British public's top three most popular talking points. Sean's team, what do you think the nation have been talking about this week? X Factor. Uh, have you been talking about X Factor? What's been going on in X Factor? Tell me well, everything. There's been the, the bullying with yeah. Misha and whoever else she was doing it with. It's Misha B, isn't it? Yeah, Misha B, you get She's... me. You... <laughs> I love Misha B, though. You love Misha like, B? But... Yeah, I don't think it was bullying. I think it was just showbiz banter. She was meant to be bullying Sammy. Sammy, uh, the, Yeah, but um... Sammy said she wasn't. Sammy said, look, I'm six foot two, 20 stone. Uh, who said, sorry, who said this? Sammy. Could and... you say that again, please? Yeah, <laughs> Sammy. <laughs> Sorry, who was it? <laughs> if you want me to spit at you, I said Sammy. I said Sammy, Sammy, Sammy. I'm that we're talking about bullying as I do this. <laughs> Say Sammy again. I like it. Sammy. So, all that. I should just. I, I, I should just say because I was teasing you a little bit yeah. there. If you're being bullied because you've got a speech impediment, there are people you can talk to. <laughs> <laughs> but it will take fucking ages, and they may. Be <laughs> Sammy said, Sammy said on this morning, that she weren't bullying me, look, I can handle myself, look at me, I'm six foot two, whatever, with her heels on, I think that is. If she's six <laughs> foot two without heels, that's a worry, and I wonder if she took her shoes off when she's done the final song on X Factor, mm. because honestly, getting excited when you're six foot two in a bad pair of heels is awful. I would have bullied her as well in that dress, because <laughs> really, I mean, going out there in that, did you see it, it had that, like, sort of leather bit in the middle? Which wasn't right. I know she can't, you know, you can blame the stylist for that. But anyway, so apparently... She I mean, was... Here's some full stops, if you want to use them. <laughs> <laughs> so, Sammy, so Sammy's saying they weren't bullying anyone, but Misha's yeah. being accused of bullying, which is, yeah. you know, it's a serious thing. Yeah, but I, I mean, I personally don't. I personally, I think that it should have stayed backstage. I don't think it should have been brought up front. Do you know what I mean? It should have stayed back... Because that's what happens with show business, isn't it? I mean, before someone goes out, you say to them, you know, do I look nice if you're in... You can put... Can put I'll get the... <laughs> 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 Sean's got to get tested. Back to back to back, back to, to X Factor. I, I, yeah, I personally think it was like I say, just just back to say, if you're in competition with someone and they say, you know, before you go and say, oh, how do I look? You say like fucking shit. <laughs> you know, you want them he to feel bad, that. right? That's what that. I think it is. Sorry, Joe, he didn't. He did say that. <laughs> I mean, he was right that time, wasn't yeah. he? <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I love the fact that Joe and Louie are on the same team. It's just <laughs> two peas in a pod. <laughs> <laughs> I've been practicing. Biology teacher, isn't he? <laughs> they're, all, they're all rubbish, though. They're so. The, the, the Misha girls, all right. Sammy, who went out. She said, oh, I'm still going to sing for the rest of my life. I bet you are. Do, 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 do. Frankie Kokosa is the most objectionable human I think I've seen on anything. <laughs> no! He's worse than Gaddafi, I'm going to say it now. <laughs> right, let's have a look and see if the X Factor is up there. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, the X Factor bullying scandal has been in the news. They should have kept Sammy in. Not because she's good, but to help balance the stage when Craig is on the other side. <laughs> John Chappie Alice, what else have people been talking about this week? Libya is free. 
No, all right, well... <laughs> it's one of those things you get over quite quickly. <laughs> I, uh, I was glad on the video to see it was definitely him, cos I read in the paper they said that the, the man they'd shot lived on his own in a house with no electricity, uh, he was living on ready meals, and all he had was a Liverpool FC mug and a signed picture of himself on the wall, and I thought, they've shot John Parrott. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon he asked himself for a picture of himself. Can you imagine that? Oh, um, can I please have a signed photo of you? Not now, I'm eating. OK, I'll wait. He was that bonkers. Or if That's he was right. bidding for his own f signed photo on eBay. <laughs> I bid for his body on eBay. I thought you could. Because oh. he was in this cold meat store. And everyone was going to take photos with this dead body, and that's like redefining the word fridge magnet. And it's the, it's the ultimate Facebook profile photo. <laughs> you and a dead Gaddafi going... <laughs> oh, when, I, when I heard Gaddafi was shot, the first thing I thought of... I thought about was I wondered what they were going to do with his waxwork model in Madame Two Swords. Cos it's really good. <laughs> it's, it's just like, got it's better as they left it closer to the heat. <laughs> He had a lot of work done, didn't he? Yeah. You, would, no, you, he had... would you ever consider going what, down the road? like Gaddafi? Come on. <laughs> 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 you, you, you've I've had a dick, darling, but I ain't been a dictator. You should put that to music. <laughs> I've had dick, darling, but I ain't been a dictator. <laughs> No, I wouldn't. Well, I would. Well, have I you ever had any work done? Yes. What have you had done? Well, no, only Botox. I've had Botox as well. Have you? Um, yeah. I didn't... I was not you on me. You should get your money back. I didn't... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't... <laughs> have it, I, I what, didn't, I do that again? I, that's extraordinary. <laughs> I know, yeah. I make oh. Ramsey look like Hannah Montana. <laughs> 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 they had a funeral for him. I, I like it. They had a funeral and they buried him in the desert and they said in respectful of Islamic traditions, which they did, the last time they did that was with the Sama, they just kicked him off an aircraft carrier. <laughs> I wonder when they catch a sad, they're going to cover him in bovril, <laughs> fire him out of a cannon <laughs> into a lion's enclosure, go, well, that is respectful of Islamic <laughs> traditions. Yes. That's what they do. We're really missing a trip, by because I don't think, there was a point when we hadn't caught any of them, and now, like, Hussein and Bin Laden, and I think if we had them all, you'd just make an amazing big brother to end on. <laughs> Unbelievable, Osama is in the dairy room. <laughs> Saddam Hussein is on the beanbags. <laughs> trying to fundamentalise Kerry Couture. <laughs> Let's have a look and see if Gaddafi is one of the most talked about things this week. Of course. Of course. <laughs> yes, this is the news that Libya is free. Now, Colonel Gaddafi has been killed. I was horrified when I saw those awful pictures of his smashed in face. And then they shot him. <laughs> Join us after the break, and we'll be finding out which other stories are the most talked about things this week. <laughs> Welcome back. We're trying to guess the most talked about things this week. Sean's team. The Queen. Do they talk about the Queen? She's basically on an official visit to Australia to apologise for what Elizabeth Hurley's done to Shane Warne. <laughs> <laughs> If, if Liz Hurley and Shane Warne get married, it'll be the bride and overgroomed. Yeah. <laughs> it's basically, we've, we've turned him into a woman. Uh, we apologise for that. He's now completely waxed. In fact, we've laminated him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she's gone over there. And she was mooned at. So apparently some, some Aussie... Some arsehole. Yeah. Some mooned at <laughs> they were mooned at her. And people, they were shocked. They said, oh, the Queen's been mooned at. You're thinking, well, the Queen, she's seen everything. She's got eight corgis, for Christ's sake. The, <laughs> st the stuff she's seen, she's seen, like, brother on sister, <laughs> father on son. She's just seen it all. It's just disgusting. She goes, Benji, you can't be doing that to Martha. This is just... She's seen it all over the years. She gets for doing ordinary stuff. Yeah. Because oh. the papers go, well, basically reporting that she's on a jolly for ten days, getting flown around the world, smiling at people and shaking hands. So they go, yeah, but she's worn that dress before. Yeah. Go, well, whoopee shit. <laughs> I've had these pants on for a month. Nothing. <laughs> but, but you know what happens to the Queen's clothes? The, the reason they're surprised is, is all her clothes get ruined by corgis. <laughs> <laughs> she goes up to the bedroom, the corgis just rip them off. <laughs> <laughs> just strip her naked with the corgi. <laughs> <laughs> Prince Philip's there going, thank you, my pretties. Yeah. <laughs> 
I don't understand why she's gone on a state visit, which is supposedly like, you know, because you're ours, so I'm going to pop over and check you're not screwing it off. And that's like your boss phoning in head and saying, I'm going to come in tomorrow. <laughs> but, right, well, I'll turn up. If, she, she, if she's going to go, she should have to go as, like, the secret millionaire and just say, like, <laughs> put <it laughs> cap on. <laughs> get a budget flight out, just, like, a cap pair of jeans and just sit in a bar going, So, what do you think of this bloody queen, then? <laughs> <laughs> Is an amazing queen doing Australian. <laughs> do, do, do that again. That's an incredible. I see that bloody <laughs> <laughs> bloody crocodile Dundee on the plane over here. <laughs> bloody racist, that I think. <laughs> I would go as far as to say you should stop using any other voice. <laughs> I went to Australia. I didn't find them very welcoming because I'm, I'm quite fair skinned and wearing shorts was a big deal. So on the first day I was there, I walked into a cafe and the guy behind the counter looked up at me and went, I don't know where it is you're from, mate, but I'm guessing it's winter there. <laughs> I'm from Wales, it's been winter there for years. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Surely, as a Welshman, you've been called worse things than that. Oh yeah, but you know, it's just, it's just it was so it was so precise. He'd seen my like yeah. thighs and thought, I'm, oh, I'm going to take the piss out of that guy. <laughs> Look at his skin. <laughs> and, uh, good accent. Can you just put a bit of Queen on that? <laughs> <laughs> what if the Queen was doing that? What do you think of her? Uh... <laughs> Hang on, she's from Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you, that's not one of the most talked about things this week. But the Queen, as Head of State, is obviously staying in Australia's most prestigious hotel, Lassiter's. <laughs> <laughs> John, Chappie, Alice, what else have people been talking about this week? They're having meetings to sort out the, the European debt, but they can't stop bickering. Angela Merkel is basically the one who's trying to fix it all, and Silvio Berlusconi called her una colonna inchiavabile which means an unshaggable lard arse. <laughs> <laughs> it just proves that if English were Italian, men would get away with a lot more. Sounds quite nice, doesn't it? <laughs> Someone in the press I read said that the relationships between the European leaders is at an all-time low. I thought, well, not really. <laughs> in 1939, it was a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think about it, Joe? Oh, it's great. Yeah? Yeah. Looking no, forward? It's the wrong answer. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> It's the Eurozone crisis. Trying to get a point for that. <laughs> uh, I, I, like Sarkozy's sort of involved in it quite a lot, and I, I just keep thinking about his wife. <laughs> well fit. <laughs> and, and I feel like he must be in this meeting going, oh, come on. I want to get home and... Ugh. <laughs> 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 I don't know Eurozone, but... Oh, God, it's... Oh. <laughs> you've, really, you've really sort of got into the psyche yeah. of a, a yeah. French man, yeah. I feel. The Belgian finance minister left one meeting early because he had tickets to see Tintin. <laughs> <laughs> and I like the idea that when he was excusing himself, they're like, right, OK, what are we going to talk... We need to sort this out with the Greeks. And he was like... I need to... I need to shoot off. <laughs> Because um, it's Orange Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> Let's have a look and see if the Eurozone crisis is one of the most talked about things this week. <laughs> so, in the other round, Sean, Joe, and Louis have one point. John, Chappie, and Alice have two. <laughs> Our next round is Pick of the Polls. Sean, Joe, Louis, what do you like the look of? Oh, I don't know, I can't see. Um, I'm going to speak for you, Louis. And go for the, the, the man dancing. OK. It's Pig. nice, isn't it? Yeah. OK? Yeah. OK, do you want to sit down yeah. now? <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't see from there, that's why. I know, I know, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not at all, no. <laughs> but this is, here's your related question. Most people think being a bad dancer is more embarrassing than being bad at sport. True or false? I'm brilliant at both. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. I couldn't tell you if I'm a better dancer or a better footballer. Really? Yeah, I'm just outstanding at both. <laughs> what form of dance suits your uh, moves best? I can only dance to reggae. <laughs> <laughs> it's like an affliction. 
If it starts, I just start, and I can only stop if someone turns it down. Yeah. <laughs> it just wrestles you to the ground. Yeah, yeah. But I always, I'm quite, I'm stronger than I look, so I'll get up. <laughs> I did that, I did that Let's Dance for Comic Relief. I did Hey Mickey and I didn't get into the final. I worked so hard on that. I worked harder on that than, I've ever, uh, than I did in my A-levels. Yeah, I watched that. You're crap, that's why. But why? <laughs> Let me tell you something! <laughs> Sorry, can, I, can, I, can I get a saucer of milk, please? <laughs> Louis claws so around. I practiced so hard, I actually fractured my wrist. Did you see my cartwheel? Fractured wheel? your I wrist? I did that on a fractured wrist. Uh, that wasn't okay. a cartwheel. Okay, and afterwards... <laughs> how did you fracture your wrist practicing? Oh, God, look, what you, you go, What was the dance? You go, oh, oh Mickey, yes, and I did it like that, hey, Mickey, in my kitchen. I have a small kitchen, and I twatted it on the kitchen handle. Oh, no, sorry, and that, I sorry, your dance, I didn't see it, but your dance was... That? <laughs> really? And you didn't get through to the final? <laughs> you were robbed. That's amazing. <laughs> That's what they do at Heathrow to direct plays. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you all, right? you all right, love? Just having a dance. <laughs> <laughs> um, Louis, when you watch other people dance, are you critical? Like, when you no, see... No, he's not critical at fucking all, is he? <laughs> <laughs> Someone needs to let it go, shall we? <laughs> Someone needs to let... Oh, even that's better than yours. <laughs> Um, yeah. So, when you watch, let's say, uh, Cheryl Cole in a yeah. dance video, do you think, yeah. oh, she's absolutely nailed that, or do you think, oh, no? Because we wouldn't know the difference. Um, I, I mean, Jerry Halliwell wasn't very good at all. When I was on tour with Spice Girls, she weren't good. You were on tour with the Spice Girls? Which yeah. one were you, sporty? No. <laughs> no, I was all of them. Because you've changed your hair, but you, yeah. look, you look better now, you look more feminine. <laughs> <laughs> and I've got bigger tits. <laughs> That's, that's genuinely confusing. <laughs> can, you get, can you get milk out of those, Louis? Yeah, yeah, big dicking. <laughs> <laughs> Literally my favourite guest. <laughs> Literally my favourite guest we ever have. <laughs> oh. Anybody, oh, anybody whiskey? <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand what's happening. <laughs> You don't understand what's happening? <laughs> yeah. I'll tell you what's happening, Joe. Buffalo Stop looking at me like that. <laughs> I just thought you'd join in. Soldier in what sort of buffalo seizure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's get an answer on this question. Most people think being a bad dancer is more embarrassing than being a bad at sport. True or false? What do you think? I think it's probably true. You think true. it's true? Okay. What do you think, John? Well, there's no such thing as dance, is there, really? Oh! <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> what, what, sorry? It's just arrogant walking, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I challenge you! I challenge you! Do you know what I mean? I'll, I'll stick on some music, go over there, give him what for. So, you said true. Uh, John, what do you think? True or false? Well, I'm going to have to say <laughs> false, because there's no such thing as dance. <laughs> He's learnt nothing, this evening. <laughs> OK, well, I can tell you the answer is true. <laughs> yeah, 64% of people think being a bad dancer is more embarrassing than being bad at sport. I quite often catch a girl's eye when I'm dancing, usually with my elbow. <laughs> And the winner is, is the name of our final round. Here is your question. Most useful thing <laughs> your parents teach you? Alice? Cooking, cleaning, sewing. That's what, what I learned from my dad. <laughs> <laughs> I 
mum taught me how to make jokes based on stereotypical perceptions of gender. <laughs> <laughs> that is good, though, isn't it? My dad said, uh, if you go to university, you get catered halls. And I asked why, and he went, before I met your mother, I lived on boiled eggs and club biscuits. And I said, what happened? And he went, I got really horrific depression. <laughs> <laughs> and he just left it at that. <laughs> My parents taught me this. Oh, yeah. wow. do that again. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, they they taught me that. That's that's what they've given me. Are they circus folk? <laughs> <laughs> Sean, what did you learn from your parents? Well, my dad, as I left home, he said, "Just remember this, son. The best services on the M1, Newport Pagnell. <laughs> on you go." <laughs> What did, you, what did your parents um, te teach you? Me, price changing. Just price how to changing. take the, you know, just how to take the label off really slowly and then change it on the food whatever you wanted. You just take the <laughs> take a label off from a cheaper item and place it on, it on the, the item you would like to buy. One, yeah. They scan it through. It's yeah. not shoplifting. Yeah. Oh. This bottle of champagne is seventy nine <laughs> pence. <laughs> <laughs> My mum taught me that there's only one lake in the Lake District. Right wow. Now. Your mum sounds like a bundle of. <laughs> Which lake it is? Bassenthwaite. It's Bassenthwaite Lake. Yeah. What about, what about Windermere? Windermere? We're actually brothers. Windermere's a mere. We're brothers. <laughs> we, we share a mother. <laughs> Sorry. A What's a mere? A mere is, it's not a lake, but it's a different it's a type of water. It's a mere. It's a different type of water. A smaller version of a sea with no salt in it. It's a lake, mate. <laughs> Where's your mum? Get here now. <laughs> I don't like the way you said that. <laughs> Poor up. She's watching this. Yeah. I apologise for what they've said about you, and I enjoy my lake fact, and I use it at parties. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll give you a clue. It's to do with spending. Always marry into money. Don't get in debt. <laughs> well, it's, uh, you're pretty close with that. Well, my... don't get in debt. Really, don't get in debt. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you the answer. It's the value <laughs> of money. <laughs> My parents taught me how to be self-reliant. Even now, if something goes wrong, at two in the morning, I'm the one that gets up and phones my agent to send someone round to fix it. <laughs> well, that sound tells me it's the end of the round and the end of the show, which means the final scores are Sean's team have two points and John's team have two points. Everyone's a winner. <laughs> Thanks to all our panellists, our wonderful studio audience, and to all of you for watching at home. If you want more, tune in tomorrow night to 8 out of 10 Cats Uncut. That's it from us. Good night. Thank <laughs> you.